Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. If the docking is done poorly, there could be physical complications like problems with urinating and defecating and nerve damage that causes pain later on as the puppy grows up. Bleeding during tail docking can be severe and puppies can die as a result. Let's help you make your mark. The World Small Animal Veterinary Association WSAVA, reports that tail docking is a painful procedure and that puppies have a fully developed nervous system, and therefore, are fully capable of feeling pain. Point seven, August 2019. Make your mark, take our lead. Dogs who have their tails docked generally suffer no physical disadvantage. Just because a dog doesn't need his tail doesn't mean that removing it is ethical. Tail docking is painful and invasive, and while your dog may not need his tail for balance, he doesn't deserve to have it unnecessarily amputated. Take our lead. Tail docking a puppy is an inexpensive procedure. Generally, it runs from $10 to $20 per animal. This procedure is paired with the dog's first checkup, which can cost up to $100. If the dog is older, the cost is greatly increased. Let's help you make your mark. The ones we are most familiar dog breeds with docked tails include Australian Shepherd, Australian Stumpy Tail Cattle Dog, Brittany Spaniel, Danish Swedish Farm Dog, Jack Russell Terrier, Skipperkey, and Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Many of those are due to a gene mutation called C189G. Their tails were bred off them. 0.7 June 2019. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.